What is going on, everyone? Welcome back into Road Graders with your guy, Cole Jackson. And today we are going to be talking about a very exciting prospect, one of the proud recipients of a 53-man roster spot, Malik Ham, the edge rusher out of the Lafayette College Leopards. Um, very interesting cat. Very excited to break down some of what he put on film this preseason. If you guys are enjoying this preseason series, we're going to be looking at players pretty much daily. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Drop a comment down below. Who do you guys want to see? What do you think of Malik Ham? Um, before we jump into him, I do want to note a tweet from The Athletics, Jeff Zrebic, huge friend of the show, one of my guys. Um, he did note that Malik Ham is on a list with guys like Keaton Mitchell, who may see IR. Um, which will keep them out for some games. But I do want to flag that before we get into him. He did make the final 53-man roster. Will we see him soon? We're not quite sure yet. Um, we're going to see guys like Brent Urban, um, Kayvon Seymour, possibly Josh Johnson coming back onto the roster as vested veterans. So just flagging that for context. Um, so today we're going to look at uh, games one and two from the preseason. Those are the two games he played in. He played 60 snaps. What I think is one of the more interesting things about Malik Ham is he did have 11 coverage snaps um, of those 60, which is positive to see. You're going to see him in this video. He's playing the Sam role. Um, he's you know typically lining up over tight ends. He's dropping into coverage. He's doing a lot of the things that the Ravens would ask Tyus Bowser to do. That's obviously important because Bowser's currently injured. They were looking at Kyle Van Noy. We know they're looking for that skill set. I think that explains why they brought in Malik Ham on the 53. Um, so let's get right into it. We're going to start with his pass rush snaps because I think... That's where the meat of his game is. So let's watch the first snap, go back, break it down. So here we're going to see a nice long arm into the QB hit there. Um, this I want to start with this because I like a player, and we've kind of seen it with Odafe Owe, where we need him to develop that long arm. And I love seeing players that have this already in their arsenal. So watch that outside hand. We're going to focus on this outside hand. He's going to force leverage in here on that outside armpit so as he brings it up right there you can already see and you guys will know from my o-line videos that's not the base you want to see so he's going to use that and he's basically just going to drive so i love seeing one arm uh, being able to do that he pushes him out of the back of the pocket if he's holding this any longer he's obviously going to get a sack here um, he does make contact i think that counts as a qb hit um, it's an incompletion so just again let's watch it one more time just a great play to have in his arsenal that and I saw this a lot. He, you know, he has a strong long arm. He's able to do the bull rush. But then he has a play like this one where he's got more in his bag. And so this was obviously just a beautiful sack. And um, you guys will remember from the joint practices when he was kind of making uh, some of his early waves. We were seeing him you know, use those stutter steps and then jack linemen up. But then we saw some spin moves too. So he's got more in his bag. He's not a one-trick pony. Um, so what I want to focus on here is that outside hand, um, and these plays are in chronological order, which is important because we're seeing kind of the game within the game, the pass rush game. He's going to flash this inside hand, the one that he, you know, just a few plays ago put in here and drove him. So watch as he puts that hand up right there. It's like a bit of a ghost hand, and it gets him to react, and he completely turns his body sideways, which gives him full reign when he hits the spin move. So just a really good stack of two pass rush moves back to back um, one resulting in a QB hit one resulting in a sack really good to see that that toolbox of his he's able to kind of pull different things out here we're going to see a two-hand bull rush that results in a batted pass um, so you know in completion again almost a pick there by Brandon Stevens um, so we're just going to see two hands right in there good awareness you can kind of see that that power able to drive hand up good awareness um, for the batted pass. So that's three plays right there. We've seen three different ways of winning in the pass rush game. Um, very, very important to see. So here, this is an interesting one. You couldn't really see it from the end zone view, so I pulled the sideline view. Malik Ham's right here. He's kind of out in coverage on the slot, and he's going to work his way inside, and then he's going to rush this edge. So again, you're going to see he's on the strong side of the field. He's playing the Sam role here. Um, I think this is important because we'll see Mike, Mike McDonald use a lot of simulated pressures. We'll see him bring guys in. This just kind of shows how he can fit in the defense. So you're going to see him rush off the edge, 
and he's just going to go around the tight end. The tackle's not ready. Not able to finish. Um, important there, but you can see his explosiveness, his knack for getting after the passer. Um, but I thought the most important thing here was just kind of the usage. So you're going to see him walk in, walk in, and then take off. And as soon as he turns that corner, you can see it kind of right here. He plants that inside foot, and I, he just got to turn. He's just got to turn a little bit more inside. He kind of runs at his back shoulder. You'd like to see him kind of bearing down on the inside shoulder rather than straight up. Um, and he's, you know, he loses. Uh, he loses the quarterback there. Classic Ravens. Uh, close but no cigar. Um, but still a heck of a play, heck of a pressure. Now we get into one from the Commanders. Um, this one he ends up double teamed by the left tackle and the left guard. Malik Cam's right here on the left hand side of your screen, down in the down in the three point. He's just gonna rush straight up, play it through. You're gonna see him work an inside move here. The left guard helps, so he ends up stunted. So you're probably wondering why am I showing this? Well, I just like I, I like the diversity of pass rush moves I've seen from him. So he knows right off this, we're gonna get one, two, three. So Tackle's already taken three kick steps before he's even gotten to him. He knows he's got this huge lane here. If this left guard's helping the center at all, this is going to be, you know, right at Jacoby Brissett. But the left guard comes back to his left there. Um, but you're going to watch this outside arm rip underneath, and he's going to use a little bit of nice bend there. See that left arm working? He's got him in the choke hold. I'm telling you, if that left guard's not here, this is either a sack or a hold. Um, so he works it through. Um, Ends up getting doubled. Doesn't win the rep there, but I like seeing the different uh, pass rush moves in his arsenal. That's kind of, you know, five different ways of winning through five plays, and he only had a grand total of 30 pass rush snaps. So that just kind of gives you a sample of what he can do. We're going to take a look at some run plays here. Um, before I get into this, he's going to get pancaked on this play, okay? So we're going to see a bit of a trap move here. Um, the left guard is going to pull this way and you're going to be like, cool. Why are you showing this play? Let's watch it. He, he does get pancaked, but I think it's important. Um, so he works inside there and the Ravens, you know, get a stop for a loss. So why am I showing this play? Well, you're going to notice. So he's outside here. You see Worley and Stevens moving him inside and this there's components of team run defense that I just love to see his job when he's working this inside gap and he sees these guys coming or he sees a puller he's got to go in and slam that puller right and so he does and anytime you're occupying a puller in their backfield you're creating opportunities for other guys and that's exactly what he does he stacks it up here yes he ends up on his butt not ideal but look at the way the ravens are even able to swarm so just to give you a bit of an example say he stays outside the pull is meant to come here and meant to catch deshaun uh, uh delshawn phillips so Phillips ends up coming back. That's where the puller would have been, but Ham got in there and gave him a good licking. So I love seeing that. Um, here we're going to get, it's kind of a similar, so we're going to get some zone run here from the Eagles. So they're all moving this way. You got him inside the tight end and he's going to cut inside hard. Watch this. So he cuts inside hard and you see that tackle has to move back. So again, he doesn't make a play on the ball, but it's contributing to the team defense. So he cuts inside so quickly, so explosive. If you're running zone to the left, I don't want my tackle turning back to away from the zone motion. But he has to do that, and that creates this massive gap right here, and that creates an opportunity for 31 Jeremy Lucian to step up, make a play, and they end up with a gang tackle. So again, it's more about that explosiveness upfield, the way he can you know, make the O-line react, make them make mistakes, and then create for his, his teammates. Good to see I accidentally put this play in twice. That's my bad. Take that out. I did like that play, though. Um, and here we're going to take a look at one last play. Um, this, this is one of my favorite plays. So he's, again, on the strong side. Tight ends here. Um, this is what I need to see from my strong side linebacker. So they're, again, going to be coming to his side in zone. And just watch. He's going to stick the tight end. He's going to set the edge. And then he's going to make a play on the ball with Josh Ross. Um, really can't ask for much more from him there. Let's get back and see that. So he's going to recognize and he's going to constantly work towards that outside shoulder because he wants to set that edge, right? And there it is. He's driving him back. He even gets doubled. He still maintains and then he's able to shed and make a play on the ball. So that's 
really what led to Malik Ham doing it. I didn't include any of his coverage snaps. Wasn't really any fault of his own. Not a lot happened. I did think he looked pretty aware. Um, there was never, you know, a situation where I, and honestly, PFF or an NFL GIS didn't even charge him with a target. So that's what I mean. There's not much to show you guys, but he looks aware. He's able to do it. He's athletic. Um, so it's all good stuff. So that's what I have on Malik Ham. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new here and drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Peace out, everyone.